Hello everyone. Now in this video I am going to discuss how to use the statement object to fire the query to the database. So I have a database called SQL data inside which I have a table which have certain number of rows. So the query which I am going to fire is select a strict from table underscore one. This query will result all the row which is present inside the table. Okay, so this is the output. And I am going to execute the same query via our Java program. So if I look at the API documentation of statement interface, there is a method called execute query. Okay. Which will take the parameter as a SQL query. And the return type of this method is a result set. That means an object of type result set. So here I will use the statement object dot execute query and specify our SQL query here. Okay. So just run the script in debug mode. So first load the driver into the memory, get the connection object, create the statement and then execute the query. Okay. So as you can see here, we are not getting the any exception. That means this execution is successful. So as I told you, while discussing the steps for the database connectivity, that the two important part of the database connection is creating the connection, closing the connection. So here we are creating the connection, but in the entire program, we are not closing the connection. So here I'm going to add a finally block and under this block, I'm going to close the connection. So first statement and call the close method. Similarly, connection dot close method. Okay. Again, this is going to throw us the checked exception. So I'm going to put a throws keyword. So here I'm creating the connection and in the finally block, I'm closing the connection. So just let me run this script in a debug mode. So load the driver, get the connection. Create the statement, execute the query and then close the connection. So that's all for this video and thanks for watching.